Welcome back. I'm Brian DeMambro. Let's have a look at this batch of six antiquarian travel books. The first one is a famous book by a woman who sailed around uh, the world basically uh, for 11 months. Uh, it's 1881. Um, Mrs. Brassy, and as you can see, the book is uh, illustrated uh, throughout with images of she went to the South Seas and all over. Um, and this is a travel account of that nautical trip that she took. Nice decorative gilt binding. This second work is a pair relating to England, English history, and uh, more specifically, uh, natural history, which is interesting. Uh, for this date, it's got an introduction by the naturalist John Burroughs and illustrations, uh, photographic ones, by Clifton Johnson, uh, 1895. It's printed on um, a heavy paper, so it's got top edges gilt, deckled edges, and as you can see, <clears throat> It's uh, got images relating to um, the area, the scenery, and the natural history. Plowing and wildlife, beehives, and so on. Next is this period leather binding about Oxford, England here. This is uh, got color plates in it. 50 illustrations, 1906 by Andrew Lang. Uh, very famous author in his day. Uh, he, uh, one of the things he wrote was the fairy books. And so scattered throughout are these black and white uh, line drawings, uh, all of Oxford, England. Well illustrated book. All the pages are, um, all the plates are full page, blank on the verso. Ta uh, uh, tight sound example in an old leather binding. This also is an antiquarian leather binding. It's quite attractive. The highways and byways in Normandy, uh, coast of France, marbled end papers, top edge gilt, deckled edges, and a profusion of illustrations throughout by the great Joseph Pennell. He uh, illustrated many books uh, in this era and into the 20th century. At one point, he was a widely collected illustrator, um, and it may still be the case today. It should be the case because he's quite good at what he did. Here's a list of all the illustrations. As you can see, it's extensive. It goes on for pages, probably well over 100. The final <clears throat> book in the lot is this spectacular binding, Our New Way Around the World. Look at this gilt elephant uh, India scene uh, Sphinx at the uh, top that's a great cover right there and decorative end papers and Yosemite Falls here uh, our new way around the world and this again appears to be he went everywhere uh, Asia China Chinese Mandarin and his wife there a monastery chapel, all kinds of, yeah, Shanghai. Look at that, went to Shanghai. <laughs> yeah, Canton River, Buddhist mosque. That's an interesting combination. The influence of Confucianism, the temple of Confucius, opium, of course. Something here about opium. Hong Kong, little map there of Formosa in southern China. Singapore to Hong Kong, other maps, life in India, there's quite a bit in here, an East Indian, Bay Adair, first night in Calcutta, the Ganges, uh, East Indian pagoda, on and on and on. Yes, very interesting, all kind of extensive coverage in this book about India, um, Bombay from Egypt to India here. And so, this lot of Six Antiquarian Books is available online from me, Brian DeMambro.